Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is an exciting video, as I'm sure you can tell by the title. We are officially starting to house hunt. So this is a pretty big process. Buying a house is the most expensive thing, at least I will ever do in my entire life. It's an exciting but stressful situation because the market right now, especially in Montreal, is hot. Things are going so quick and so much more expensive than they normally would. For example, a friend of ours bought a house for $75,000 over the asking price just to secure it. And it's just like, there's so many bidding wars. It's crazy. I want to be somewhat aggressive, but I also don't want to overpay for a house just because I want the house, if you know what I mean. So we're going to actually go visit three houses today. And the way the market's working right now, at least in my perspective, is a house will be listed. Visits are Friday, Saturday, sometimes Sunday but usually Friday Saturday and then you have to if you want to put in an offer you have to get it done by either Saturday night or Sunday morning so it's quick and there are like hundreds of visits for a specific house on a weekend and offers are just like so I am not the kind of person to gamble. I'm not the kind of person to be very knowledgeable when it comes to this. So I'm very new. We're trusting our agent, but at the same time, we're keeping our options open. I'm keeping my expectations low. We were pre-approved for a mortgage before the pandemic and what we were able to afford before the pandemic has drastically changed now. We would have been able to get a way bigger house a year and a half ago versus now. So I'm not, I don't need a big house, but this is what I'm thinking. I would like something that's easy either somewhat move in ready. So there are some rooms that I could use to shoot content in. So lots of lighting, windows are important. The location of the house is important because I wanna be in a place that is kid friendly, lots of schools nearby, good for activities and meeting other moms and friends for Arky. It would be nice to have some of the house that's like older so that we could renovate because that is something that I really want to bring to this channel is renovations. I think it would be so fun. So either an unfinished basement or if there's like a bathroom where the kitchen is somewhat like dated and we can like take time to renovate that would be really fun and plus it does bring down the cost of the house if it's not super renovated and I also don't want something so big I don't want a big house the house we're living in now is huge and it's just it's not my style Dan and I lived in a bungalow before and it was really fun I would prefer to have a second story because I just that's what I am used to growing up like you go upstairs to go to bed and then my parents would just hang out and watch TV downstairs technically we could go to the basement if we lived in a bungalow but I like having the kitchen separate from the bedrooms it's just there's a lot that I look at but it's not a mandatory thing so I made a list of wish list and a must list so must have good lighting must be in a good location must have a garage then the wish list is just extra so hardwood floors white walls a nice kitchen like things like that it's not it's not going to make it or break it for me because i can always we can always renovate over time so yeah that's what we're doing today i'm so excited also the rules for visiting houses are strict because of the pandemic so i don't really know how it's going to work i don't really get it we don't have much time in the houses there's no open houses it's just you and your agent and maybe one other time the other agent but like you can't have more than a certain amount of people in the house and it can't be more than 15 minutes i think is like what the reservation time is anyways before we go do that I do want to film at home a little bit because we're doing a really fun activity for Arky. We're going to do a swim lesson in the bathtub. It's one of the last times we're going to be able to use the bathtub as a like swim lesson because he's getting way too big now, but I want to show you how good he's doing. And what we do after we do a swim lesson with Arky is take a nice bath, have a nice nap, and then we're going to head out for the day to go do some house visits. So let's go. I was just fixing up my makeup when I noticed that um, I actually did quite a good job with my self tan. It's not too bad. I'm gonna show you guys Arky's swim lesson, but before that, um, because I'm not gonna film when we wash him just because I don't wanna put that on the internet, but I do wanna talk about the products that we're using because I found these new products that um, are so eco-friendly and I know I get a lot of questions from you guys about our diapers and like products that, you're, that I'm using for him, which I don't share as often as the products I'm using for myself. And I know a lot of you guys do have babies. So Live Clean, one of the best companies out there. We use this all the time with Arky. I have a bunch of products. This video is sponsored by Live Clean. It's funny because I was actually using these products before they ever even reached out to me. It just worked out so well that a company that we were already using reached out. So it just made it super easy. But Live Clean Baby, as you could see, I have a bunch of these products. I have the big versions because I like having these, but then also having the smaller options for on the go is really nice. And I know especially once everything calms down, um, I think he's outside the door. It's gonna be nice to bring these along when we're traveling. You have a visitor. Hi. You want to come and be on the camera? 
Can you wave hi? Look! Arkham is wearing his Batman pants. So the products that I own and that I love to use are the Gentle Moisture Tearless Shampoo and Wash. I have it in the big one as well as the smaller version. I have the Gentle Moisture Baby Lotion in the big one and the smaller portable one. And then I also have diaper ointment, which comes in so much handy. And then this non-petroleum jelly, which is so key, especially when Arky was sick. It's super gentle. And then if ever he has a little bit of diaper rash, put a bit of that on as well as some diaper ointment, which really helps. The scent is really subtle, which I like, and everything is made in Canada, which is so nice because I rarely get to work with Canadian brands and I feel like this could help a lot of you guys. They're renewable and sustainable, eco-friendly, they have no parabens, phosphates, or dyes, and they're made with a minimum of 97% plant and natural derived ingredients, which is really nice. You know, everything that's going on your baby is clean and good for them. And I like that Live Clean's tagline is cut the BS, which stands for cut the bad stuff. I thought that was funny. Little play on words. I know you can get them at Pharmapri if you live in Montreal because I see them there all the time. Or I'll have a link listed down below in the description which you can shop as well. But yeah, now that that's done, I'm going to get ready with our swim lesson. Okay, it's swimming lesson time. Time for some practice. You wanna show your tricks? So remember what we're working on now, Arkham? We're working on independent recoveries and then also trying to locate our toys when we're underwater. So let's do an independent recovery first. So we're gonna swim all the way to the wall in the corner. Okay, are you ready? I'm gonna put your penguin up here. We're gonna swim from here. All right, ready? Take a big breath. Good, swim, 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 stand up. Stand up, you got it. There you go, stand up. Good job. Yeah, big smiles. You can do another one, so it might be a bit Are you better. gonna turn around and swim to Dada? Okay, Arkham, let's try and do this independent recovery where you climb up Dada's t-shirt, okay? Arkham, let's do it this way. This is our new thing. Ready? We're gonna jump off and swim to Dada. Ready? One, two, three. <gasps> Good, swim, swim, swim. Good job. So when we do swimming lesson, I wear a t-shirt because you can see exactly there. It helps him learn that independent recovery of like reaching and grabbing onto stuff. So when he swims towards me, he can grab like my shorts and my t-shirt and that helps him learn to grab the wall when he does without me. We would do the same in a pool as well. Yeah. You wanna swim to your toys? Ready? This is a little bit of a short one, but I think you can do it. Ready? Here we go. Yeah, that's your toys. Ready? Big breath. <gasps> Good, swim, swim, swim. Good job. <laughs> Are you having so much fun? Oh, so much fun. We cannot wait until the summer so we can use a, an actual pool. Oh, yeah. Ready? You're gonna do a big swim. Ready? One, two, three. Percy Dada, Wee! You didn't even go under. <laughs> oh, you're just gonna look at the camera the whole time, huh? Look at that crazy hair. <laughs> That's his wet hair after the bath. So now we put some lotion. This is what we do every night after the bath and every time we do a swim lesson. Put some lotion here, down to arms. We do the armpits, we do his belly. Oh, and then he tries to run away. Sometimes he grabs it and gets lotion all over his hands. <laughs> then, we take the excess that's on Dada's hand and we rub it on the rest of his legs. And there. And now we are all finished. Yay! Okay, guys, it's a little bright outside, but I'm just filming on my phone because I want to let you guys know that I'm going to be filming the visits on my phone because I feel awkward bringing, bringing around a big camera. I just, I don't know how I feel about that. If there are people in the houses, I'm not going to film, but if we get the house to ourselves, which I'm pretty sure we will, then I'll do like a little tour and then I'll talk about them afterwards. So let's go.
Okay guys, it has been a few days now since the visits. So I did want to talk about them because it's so crazy how things work out. Sorry if it was kind of dizzying to watch that. I wasn't really paying attention to like filming properly. I was just kind of filming everything just to get it on camera. Plus with my phone, it's like kind of shaky. As you can see by the first house, it was really pretty. It had like all the bells and whistles. Everything was exactly like how I'd want my house if I were to renovate it, but it was in a really great location, had a really nice yard. It was the perfect size for a first time home. It had an upstairs, which I really liked to be separate. It was the cheapest out of all three houses that we saw. So that was like, it brought it up to the top of the list for us. The second house was super cool, really unique as you could see. Dan loves those types of houses with all different corridors and the floors were old. It was built in 1926, so there's a lot of history to it. There was just a lot to go on, but it did need to have some renovations plus to get an inspection done on a house like that, it's hard because like the basement and the foundation is all stone. So you don't really know what issues the house is gonna have. So that's kind of taking a risk. Plus it was on the pricier side, but again, great location, super close to some of our friends, um, great trails there for the dog and great schools, all that kind of stuff. So it was like our second favorite. And then the third one we went to was really nice, really cute as well. Didn't need that much renovation, but I didn't love it. Like it was nice, but I definitely wasn't like in love with it and it was 40 minutes away so it was far like we didn't think it was as far as it was <laughs> right away we were like okay we're not gonna be looking in this area just because it's way too far for us we used to already live 25 minutes away from where we live now and like nobody ever came to visit us so we did not want to move even further away and not be able to see any friends and family plus it was kind of in the middle of nowhere and it was like right off of a ski mountain so i feel like it would have been a good cottage home but not our permanent home now here is the crazy thing so it is an aggressive market to say the least. Our agent was telling us if you really want this property you're gonna have to bid quite high. It's not like how it used to be where you could go very like just under the asking price or a little bit over and you go back and forth and negotiate. Like now there's bidding wars like I said. Our friends paid so much more than the asking price for their home. It's a little intimidating to be honest. It just went to show us that it's no joke. 
If you want a house, you gotta bid high. And it also made us feel kind of bummed, to be honest, because for one, we don't wanna spend like a crazy amount of money for our first home. We wanna make sure that we like it and we're happy with it, but we also don't wanna go crazy. We wanna be smart with our money, but what we could have got two years ago versus now is like night and day. It's so almost discouraging, honestly. And our agent told us not to feel discouraged. It's very normal. I mean, it's the same with gambling. Like you don't know what the other offers are gonna be. So you have to like take a risk. And at the same time, you don't wanna overpay for something just to get it. And then you find out the other offer was like way less than yours. You know what I mean? And then you're like overpaying for something. So you wanna make sure that you're smart with your money on the offer that you're putting down, but also being somewhat aggressive to make sure you get the home like i don't know to me it was all very frustrating my parents said they visited like 35 homes before they bought their first house and i have friends that searched for so long so this wasn't the first house we really loved either like we had visited other homes in the past few months and liked those ones i don't want this to discourage anyone else if you guys are looking for a home but i do want to be realistic on what's going on right now and what it's like and i'm sure if you're from montreal or toronto or vancouver you know the struggle on buying a home during this time and how crazy the market is. Fingers crossed we find a place. I'm sure we will. We're trying to manage our expectations, like maybe have a home that's really like in budget that we could super afford and then renovate the crap out of it and put a lot of the money into renovations. It's just like living through renovations is not fun. I did it at my parents' house when I was a teenager. We slept in the basement. It was not fun and I don't really wanna do that with a baby, but if we have to, we have to. To. We can also do it over time. Like there's just a lot to think about. This is the end of the vlog. I'm sure I will bring you guys along to more houses. Please let me know what you think down below in the comments. If you guys own a home, if you built a home, let me know all the deets. I'm curious. And if we do end up buying a place that we renovate, are you curious to see like a renovation series on my channel? I, that's something that I'm super interested in watching. So I thought maybe you guys would want to see that too. Anyways. And again, a huge thank you to Live Clean for sponsoring today's video. I will have a link listed in the description, like I said. And I love you guys so much. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.